So far, six children were diagnosed with the virus, which normally affects the neck and face. Amomo says the first case recorded in April was that of an Angolan child who came to seek medical attention in Namibia. All five remaining cases are in a stable condition and in isolation in their homes. The Ministry of Health and Social Services, Amomo says, will embark on mass community awareness campaigns as well as vaccination drives targeting babies from six months to 15 years old in mid-June. Amomo says more than 100,000 children are expected to be vaccinated over three days. Mistress, there is no specific treatment for mistress. What we do, we only provide supportive care. Let me say the child is having problem with eyes, we only treat eyes. And we encourage family members to provide enough fruit to the babies or the body who is actually very sick. In hospitals, sometimes we also provide vitamin A just for them, I mean, just to promote early healings and growth. Amomo assured the public that the situation is under control. The public should not panic. What happened is that so we have got only six cases in Umsati region, and as per the WHO guideline, the moment you report three cases, that itself is already an outbreak. But as, as far as this outbreak is concerned, the situation is under control and we are managing the situation. Even though the virus is not deadly, it can cause complications such as blindness and encephalitis, which is the inflammation of the brain, and it is highly infectious. Coughing, running nose, skin rashes, and teary eyes are some of the symptoms. Ndapandashuya, NBC News. Otapi.